Hey, welcome back to Snapbolt Games. My name is Max, and I'm here with another Popper League, and going to be playing something a little bit different today. Going to be playing Affinity with Cleansing Wildfire. Before I get into this deck and the card choices, let me shout out the channel real quick. It's youtube.com slash snapbolt. Link in the description below. Go to the channel, check it out. Lots of content on there. If you like my content, the best way to support me is just by subscribing to the channel, and I really appreciate it if you would do so. Thanks so much. Second announcement before we get into it is that I am going to start streaming on Twitch just about a day a week or so. The first stream is going to be September 5th on Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So Sunday, 10 a.m., September 5th. I'll be streaming on Twitch. Come hang out. There's going to be a link as well to the Twitch, uh, to my Twitch. Um, so you can follow me on there and I'm going to post on Twitter as well, which there's a link in the description also. So you can follow me on all these platforms and come hang out on Twitch. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll be my first time streaming and uh, I want it to be a big success. So without further ado, let's just get right into what this deck is. It's a relatively standard blue-red affinity deck, except that we're just playing Cleansing Wildfire in the main deck. And I'll go over the pros and cons of this really quick, at least what I can, what I think it is. So we get four Wildfire in the main deck. The downside, which I think is the biggest downside, is that we have to play four basics. You can play three um, and just hope to not draw them, but I'm going a little less greedy and playing four. And the biggest downside of that is like, what if our opening hand is like, let's say, Bridge, Mountain, Island? Then that's pretty bad with all these affinity for artifact cards. So naturally drawing the basics is going to be pretty bad. Try to counteract that a little bit by playing a few more lands. Um, but again, I guess I should just say, so that's basically the downsides. The biggest upsides is, I think this card seems like pretty insane in the mirror, just blowing up their artifact lands that are the non-indestructible ones, and if they don't have basics, they don't get to search. Um, ramping is obviously a big plus. If you have any of these nine artifact indestructible lands, you're just cleansing wildfire your own land, and then you get to ramp. Actually, I'm just realizing maybe we do want one more great furnace over a seat even though seat cats cast switching well great furnace plus dark steel citadel is a cleansing wildfire ramp so let's actually go back on this i could also go down to three basics and then go four four three basics but i think i'm actually going to do four great furnace three seat of the sign out okay so we'll go with that and then um yeah, I think this, again, has application, like I said, in the mirror, blowing up their artifact lands that aren't indestructible, ramping you, but also against Storm, just being able to blow up their, like, double lands seems decent. I know a lot of times they play a basic or two now, but still seems pretty solid. Um, and then we just have a bunch of these affinity for artifact cards at the, at the top. I was also thinking about playing... Oh, God, I'm blanking on the name now. It's the, the five mana... Um, sorcery it costs one blue four colorless and draw a card equal to the highest mana value among i think permanents you control uh, i'm blanking on the name of it but I, I was thinking about playing one or two of those but i just don't think that's good i was also thinking about playing like one or two copies of molly d mold drifter because you can ramp to it with with wildfire and it just draws cards but ultimately i haven't i decided to not test those cards and just start with just the wildfire and go from there um, the way I have the deck built, I also had to cut one Galvanic Blast, which I think is fine. It's not that great um, in the meta right now. I know it's okay in the mirror and everything, but we have the Wildfires now. So down to three Blast, just so we can fit more artifacts in the, de in the deck. Three Witching Well. Um, and no Dispels or Echoing Truths in the main. Um, so we will be a dog, especially game one to uh, Chatterstorm, but... We have 10 good sideboard cards against Chatterstorm. Three Dispel, three Hydroblast, one Echoing Truth, three Cart Clan, and then a couple Pyroblasts, a couple Grudge, and a Reaping the Graves to round out the, the sideboard. So we have some hate for the Mirror, again, already with the Cleansing Wildfire, so mostly just hate for Storm in the sideboard. I really am not liking this D-Gen Popper meta that much, and I want there to be some changes. It's just like, I feel like I can't really brew any new decks. I know I just have been playing a lot of Blue-White Evoke, I've been doing fairly well with it, but it's just the the power of the top decks, Affinity, Chatterstorm, and even Blue Black, they're just so much better than everything else. It really like puts a constraint on what you're able to brew because you're just gonna get stomped by those decks if you just try to brew other stuff. So 
we have a brew it's an affinity deck though so again pretty constrained by the meta um so i hope something changes at some point but we'll see without further ado let's just get right into round one i'll see you there all right welcome to round one we're against cam 13. i think this is just a mulligan um if we had one more land it would be a snap keep because we have these companions i mean we're on the draw we have 20 lands in the deck Maybe we just keep, because again, one land, I can just cycle companion. Let's see, let's do uh, some quick math. So each draw step, we have we have 20 lands in the deck, right? Let's see. 20 lands in the deck, so we have 19 lands, we have 19 lands remaining out of 53 cards. So we have a 35.84 35.85% chance, so 35, 36% chance per draw step, a little over one third, and then we have two looks to find a land. So it's pretty close. Because if we do find any land, this hand becomes good. A lot of the lands we have are tap lands, but we could even be fine drawing one of those on, on the first draw step. I just don't know if I need to risk it. Sojourner's Companion just goes a long way. I'm just gonna keep. We just have to hit out of the top two cards, one land. And again, we have about a 36, 35, 36% chance per draw step with two looks. So what is that over two draw steps? If it was 50%, it would obviously be 75. So it's not quite, um, if, we, if it's 36, does that make it 36 plus 36 divided by 2. I'm not sure. I might need the hypergeometric calculator. That's about as far as my statistics uh, skills go. And there's the land. Okay, that's good. Let's just play Great Furnace. If they play an artifact land that's not indestructible, we can Cleansing Wildfire them, potentially. If they don't. This just looks like it's Jeskai Cleansing Wildfire Control themselves. So, kind of feeling like we're in trouble here. Another artifact land. Okay, I think I'm gonna play Great Furnace and then just plan to cycle companion for Seat of the Cyanide most likely, or an indestructible land, and then we can ramp next turn. Let's just play another artifact land here and then plan to cycle companion. I am feeling like we're in trouble. The good news is if they wildfire us, yeah, we actually get a land out of this. So this is actually fine. Um Okay. Yes, use the ability. Then should I get mountain or just second island? I think I'm getting island here. Island. And then let's artifact land cycle for an indestructible land. I suppose just get bridge. And then we can go bridge wildfire ramp ourselves. I don't want to wildfire them because I know they have basics. So this is an interesting matchup here. I think I'm going to stick with the wildfire line here. It seems good. I get to get an extra land and draw a card. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I want to use the ability. Okay. And there's a mirror enforcer. We only have two artifacts in play right now, but we can get a lot more in play pretty easily. Only one basic left in the deck. Cleansing Wildfire themselves. So now they like see that we have this too. So maybe they might think it's kind of the mirror, but yeah, we have these companions and stuff. So it's it's kind of up in the air here. Let's just go weed on Wellspring. There's Star. Star is actually not bad. One, two, three. I can go up to four, five artifacts. So let's do it. Let's lead on Witching Well. I can just wait on this thought cast. Let's go Witching Well. I think I can just bottom bottom here. I just want to draw like more action. Play land, play star, play enforcer. Oh, it cost two? Did I, I did my math wrong? Fuck. And now I need to crack star in order to thought cast. That was a pretty bad, bad misplay. One, two three, four, five. I thought I would have six. I just played a little bit too quickly there. All right, well, 
Let's just thought cast now. Definitely a mistake from me. So is what it is at this point. I don't get to play any four fours now because of it. Hmm. And their deck has like counter spells and mnemonic walls and that sort of thing. One, two, three, four artifacts. I can go five. Just lead thought cast. Gonna be able to play a lot of stuff here, that's for sure. If they counter this, that's fine. They do. Okay. Let's go bridge. Then play enforcer, play a tog, I think. Definitely kind of, I definitely already kind of punted this game, but still looking good. We get to resolve a tog. Most likely here. They galvanic blast that in response. Okay. If they galvanic blast this a tog, do I sack two artifacts to save it? Probably not. It's close. What is this? Mnemonic wall? Oh, Moe D. Okay. This deck is kind of like my blue white evoke deck, but instead of like the full evoke package, they have the artifact land and cleansing wildfire package, and then a similar late game. Moe D, don't play a land. Oh wow. Okay, well we do have a fling and they only have one mana up, so maybe we can find a way to win. There's Prism. Alright, let's just lead Prism. Probably just sack Wellspring. Yield and yield. There's a Cleansing Wildfire. Okay. And they're going to Galvanic Blast the Atog right now. I mean, I want to force them to have to chump with, with Molly D. I should have played Companion first, I suppose. One, two, three, four, five artifacts. Actually, can I have a win here? Because I can go... I was thinking I can go Sojourner's Companion, Fling, the Mole Drifter, but then I don't have nearly enough. I think I do want to save the Mole Drifter here, save the Atog here. So let's go Sack Prism, Sack Great Furnace. It's a 7-8. And one, two, three artifacts. It's not very many. I can play another bridge. One, two, three, four. And then play a companion for three mana. And have one mana left. Alternatively, I can Cleansing Wildfire us. Get a basic and draw a card. I think I kind of like the Cleansing Wildfire line. That's our last basic. We draw another Wildfire. Okay, I'm going to just play Bridge, attack. And they have to chump, I think, yeah. They snap chump. One, two, three, four artifacts. And just play a Tog. Okay, we still got we still have the fling. We can always one thing nice about the cleansing wildfire package is that we can always um, it gives us like more mana to crack these witching wells. So maybe the deck should have four witching well in it. It's tough to say. Oh, they do have soul of migration. Nice. They're gonna ephemerate. They do have it. Okay. Resolves. And they cleansing wildfire themselves. Alright, they are tapped out, but I just really don't have many artifacts. Okay, there's another artifact. Not bad, not bad. You can draw a card with wildfire. You can draw potentially two with witching well. I'll just start with this. All 
right, let's go Prism. So this is putting more artifacts into play, which is nice. Three, four, five, six. Seven. And then just attack with both the togs here. They block with Soul of Migration. I'm just going to eat it because they have an Ephemerate coming back down. So yeah, they probably just go Chump Chump. Yep. Oh, they're going to trade a bird for an artifact. I'm fine with this. Okay, okay. And then sack here. And sack here. We did not have Lethal yet. I'll just play another Atog. It's just another thing they have to keep chumping. And they get to Ephemerate again here. They're going to need Mnemonic Wall or Archaeomancer here in order to really start going off. But I can continue to draw cards, which is nice. This is close. This is a close game. Now I know what it feels like to be on the other side of this. And they late to dinner, Moly D. Wow, this deck is very similar to my Blue Light of Hope deck. Again, it just has the artifact land package instead of um, the full, like, angelic renewal package. They also get to play Cleansing Wildfire and Blast. Okay, let's just sack this. Preordain. We must have drawn that off Mole Drifter. They went one bottom, one top. Now they're passing. Okay. Probably going to start just by cracking Witching Well. Another fling. Interesting. Let's crack well. Draw two. Maybe shouldn't have played that land so early. I don't even have great artifacts to sack, but I might need to just send with everything here. Let's just start by drawing a card. So now I can attack with everything and just start sacking lands. Kind of sucks, but I need to deal with their board. So let's just attack with all. They block there, there. Interesting blocks. I am going to try to take out their board. Yeah, they should block here. Yeah. And then chump. Or are they, they are going to block there. That's interesting. Okay. Order the blockers. Just going to sack like a bunch of my lands here. I just want all their stuff to be off the table basically. I guess I should have added mana. And we're basically out of artifacts but... They're out of, like, gas for the most part, too. Okay. We want to draw... Icker Wellspring's really good draw. Even Thoughtcast is still a fine draw. Witching Well. Oh, they, they have a... Thoughtcast. Okay. Mnemonic Wall, if it is, I think I lose to this. Yeah. Because now they get back Ephemerate, and then they get back late to dinner, and then I don't think I can win. They're just leaving up Ephemerate. Interesting. So if they block, I have to just only deal them two. And then, yeah, I'm, I'm dead to this late game. These Atogs just didn't, didn't really do it. Yep. They just can get back Counterspell even here or Galvanic Blast. Yeah, I guess they just get back late dinner. All right, let's just go to the next one. We're behind on time, so good game. Okay. Pyroblast is good. Hydroblast and Dispel both seem pretty good as well. Not sure if like Hydroblast is actually that great. I think Dispel and Pyroblast are though. I could can have Ancient Grudge. They probably only have like Seed of the Cyanide to kill with this though. Maybe just one copy. 
It's probably just not even worth. I don't really want to fight that battle. These flings kind of crush us because it's pretty hard to fling them and it'll be even tougher post board, I think. Maybe just like two Galvanic Blast. And I can cut like two Mirror Enforcers. Do I cut Cleansing Wildfire? Maybe I cut Cleansing Wildfire entirely. And then leave in one fling. Because yes, I can Wildfire myself, but I don't necessarily even really like want to. What if I leave in the flings and cut like basic plus all the wildfires? I can't wildfire then. And I could wildfire myself to ramp, but it's not like it's that good. In this matchup specifically. Hmm. I think I'm going to do this. Do I even cut one more basic, go to 18 lands? Cutting more basics is sketchy against their wild wildfires for sure. I'll just try this. I was thinking about like one Hydro Blast, but I think I like this. Triple Dispel is nice. All right. This just looks like a typical affinity hand here. It looks solid. They're on the Molta 6. Molta 5, wow. When you go three colors, it definitely uh, you lose some consistency. And having double indestructible land is really nice here in this matchup. Seat. Okay, they did have the seat. We have one Ancient Grudge in the deck, right? No, we didn't bring it in. Okay. Thought cast. Great draw. We can cast Thought Cast next turn by going star into Thought Cast, try to hit a land drop. Oh, just no need. Love it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't quite double companion. What if I go Great Furnace, Star, of uh, three, four, five? So I could go Great Furnace, Star, play a four, four. I think I just want to resolve Thought Cast, though. So I just go Great Furnace, Thought Cast. Now I think I go Witching Well plus Chromatic Star. I don't want to just bottom bottom here. Galvanic Blast isn't bad. Maybe I top top even. Just this is what I have to work with. Because drawing another land's not bad, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Then I go seven and just play everything out. Alright, this is just what I'm going to have to work with here. Don't hate it. So that was only turn three. Next turn, I'm going to be able to double 4-4 four, four here. They cleansing Wildfire, they fix their mana, they ramp. Sure. Okay, now it's just lead on playing out some companions. We're drawing Galvanic Blast. Let's just add red. I guess I should actually add blue. Prism. Nice. Icker Wellspring. Kind of going off here. All right, we have three four fours. They have one red source. They have two artifacts right now, so they can't Galvanic Blast anything yet. Okay, this is fine. They get another mountain and they play a tap artifact land maybe. We're gonna just hit for 12 here though. Chrome Courier. That's cool. Thought cast and dust to dust. So what did they take? Oh, the, and then this went to the graveyard. So they took the dust to dust, obviously. Okay, that is fine. So now we just, I suppose, lead on Prism. I could lead on a Tog, and then do I need to leave up Pyroblast this turn? I mean, they're going to have to dust to dust. I think not. It's just Prism. Nice. Let's attack. There's no point to Gal Blast this because I can always just... If they chump, it's the same as Gal Blasting this. And I'd rather just hold Gal Blast in my hand. Okay. Even a Dust to Dust on Double Companion here 
is not necessarily enough. They probably do have four dust to dust post board. But if they tap out here or tap a lot of mana to cast it, it's going to be kind of rough. And I have a counter for a Hydra Blast. So still liking my position. We have this Wellspring to sack if we need to save the Atog. Chrome Courier. And they aren't able to dust at us this turn. I wonder if I'm just supposed to Pyroblast this. They're at 12. Yeah, I think I'm going to. And they just concede. Nice. That draw was just pretty nuts from us. Really good draw. Okay. Nice. We even have the triple dispel. Do I want like one hydro? One grudge? I don't really think so. I mean, I don't. The fact that we showed them basics, they're probably not going to wildfire us basically no matter what. I can have another action spell like either the one grudge or one hydro over another land, just have more gas. I think I like that. This counters like a Galv Blast or a Cleansing Wildfire from them. Or maybe if they bring in Pyroblast, but I don't think they will. Oh, we should have Reaping the Graves in. That was a mistake. Yeah, okay. We should definitely have the Reaping. I like this better. Okay. Looks good. We have eight sources of black mana, four prism, four star. And star is like often going to have to get used early, so it's not even really a source. But snap, keep this. Same looks fine. I think I'm just going to lead on... Uh, oh, they kept seven. I was thinking about leading on Darksteel Citadel Star. Yep. Pass. They just play another tap land. Interesting. Okay, I think I want to also... I could deploy a Tog, but I think just playing Prism and getting more artifacts down to just play these companions out early seems like it's the line. So let's just play another Darksteel... They're really far from casting Dust to Dust. They would need basically to go Wildfire plus have a Plains or be able to search a plane. So kind of expected them to Wildfire there, but I guess not. Ooh, there's Dispel. One, two, three. So I have four. I can go up to five artifacts. I guess I'm just playing Great Furnace now and then just trying to play these companions out. They counterspell this i would probably have dispelled but let's just cast them they can gal blast one if they want it's fine they don't have anything whoa thought cast okay they're in trouble especially since we have this dispel and these atogs maybe they just had a hydro blast and they were just hoping we'd like play a tog or something they might have just clunked out a little bit on their draws. Maybe they had dust dust, but no white mana, and they just decided to keep. Bottom, bottom, play island. Looking sketchy for them, for sure. Another companion. Attack, and we'll play a tog here, and they just concede to that. Yep. Infinity pretty busted. You can have hate cards, and if you don't find them or can't cast them, Infinity just does its thing. That was pretty gross. Okay, Cleansing Wildfire plan seemed bad there, but again, we were against a Cleansing Wildfire deck, so it's a little more understandable. Um, let's go round two. See you there. All right, welcome to round two. I think I played against Azax the other day, and I think they were on Chitterstorm, so I expect them to still be on that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I remember because, yep, 12 trophies. I'm pretty sure they're going to be on Chitterstorm. You have to play first. Yes. Um, yeah, we'll keep. We have a turn two Wildfire against Storm. And uh, we're on the play, so it looks good. Maybe they just kept a one lander and we just blow, the, blow up their land. Yep, there we go. Okay, let's... I mean, we could even just choose to wildfire ourselves. But I think it's worth... We take them down a mana. Make them get their basic, I guess. But I think it's worth it.
just really need to slow them down. I do need to hit more lands here, though. I think I'm just going Icker. Next turn, I could go Star Thought Castle. Should be able to draw lands next turn, even if we miss here. Yep. That was a reason to wildfire ourselves, but still might just die here. That deck is so dumb. I mean, I guess I, I haven't really played it that much, so I could just play it myself, but... Honestly, don't really have a huge desire to. I feel like we're, we're dead here. I mean, it's unquestionable that this is the best deck in the format. Like, I have 10 sideboard cards for the matchup, and I'm, like, still not feeling good about my chances. Galvanic Relay is just a huge problem. Cabal Rit. They did use their green mana. Tapland Relay. Duress. Sure. I'm pretty certain they're going to cast a Galvanic Relay here and then kill us next turn. I guess we'll find out. Yep. They hit They hit a Chatterstorm, but no first day of class. I mean, they could easily have one in hand. One, two, three, four, five. So if I go play Great Furnace, that's four artifacts. I can go play five and then tap two mana for Mirror Enforcer. It doesn't seem great. Would I rather Thoughtcast? They have Lotus Petal as well. The good news is they can only draw two cards. One with, uh, they can draw a lot more than that. One, two, three, four. They can draw four cards. I mean, they still might not be able to do, they might be able to make a lot of one ones, but if they don't have first day of class, then they might not be able to like go off. I think that's just what I'm supposed to do here. Just play a mirror enforcer. So again, we get 10 sideboard cards, triple Dispel, Echoing Truth, triple Hydro Blast, uh, triple Cart Clan Shaman. It's a lot. Will it be enough? That's yet to be determined. We also still have the Wildfire, so the Wildfire is on top of all that hate, maybe, but that deck is just so good. They are down to 12. We have one more Galvanic Blast in the deck. I don't think Galvanic Blast is actually that good in this matchup. Not sure exactly how we're supposed to sideboard yet. They duress, they probably take the other Blast. Oh, they take the Thought Cast. First day of class into Sphere, into Chatterstorm is lethal. Just go to the next one. I mean, you gotta respect it. I don't have enough main board hate, I guess. Okay, so I think like a lot of this stuff can come out. Galvanic Blast, yeah, we can kill them more quickly, but I think these 4-4s four are like not that great. We might need a couple more just to have like a way to win. I mean, we can just win with a Tog plus Fling. That's probably better. And then what's the last card to cut? Like a Witching Well? We just don't have time to crack it. You can even just take out two Witching Wells. And then play a fifth 4-4. Four four. The 4-4s four aren't that good either, but... Mm. I think I'd have, rather have Witching Well in function and just win more slowly with more 4-4s four and just rely on, like, Cleansing Wildfires and all of our... Uh, all of our interaction. Triple Cart Clan Shaman is, is really good too, and Triple Hydro Blast is huge. Triple Dispel. We have like basically everything you might want. Let's just leave Bridge. No Cleansing Wildfire here, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna go Witching Well plus. Play Shaman? Do I need to play Shaman this early? I mean, there is a chance they, like, kill us next turn. I don't know if they even side in Gut Shots anymore. 
Still think I should Witching Well because I want to hit lands. Let's go bottom, top, Shaman. And it's going to suck because even if they combo off and I have to sack two permanents, it's actually pretty bad for us, but uh, I mean, it's better than dying. Sign in blood, sure. You can also start attacking with this, which I suppose is relevant. Lotus Petal. Do they not have another land? Oh, wow. I wish I could have countered that. Manamorphose? Yep. Red, black, dark, red. Okay. I mean, this is turn two. The deck is just crazy. They still have seven cards in hand. They're looking for lands, probably. Lotus Petal, Lotus Petal, First Day of Clash, Chatterstorm. There's one basic. Duress, okay. Do they have a Relay, maybe? Relay for 10. Gut Shot, okay. <laughs> and there's Galvanic Relay. So dumb. You have to play the Shaman out first because otherwise they just get to um, they just they just get to uh, get haste and kill you. So you have to have it in play. So they have double first day of class, but they don't have a Chatterstorm yet. They can't draw that many cards either, so we might be okay. I mean, they can make a lot of mana. They hit a lot of lands, so. We have a chance, we have a chance. Let's just go, do I want a Wellspring or Prism? I think I want a Prism. I'd rather have better mana next turn. There's a Tog, okay. Just have six. If we die, we die. They can loot with those first day of classes to try to find Chatterstorm. We'll see what happens. Dark Grit. Again, if I was going to play it in the challenge, even with everybody gunning for this deck, I still might play Chatterstorm, but then you're just facing mirrors all day, so I don't know if that's that great of a plan either. Play Forest, Crack Bog, Bunch of Mana. They have six, seven, eight mana. They crack star. Now they need to start looting with these first day of classes if they don't have the Chatterstorm. If they do, we lose. We take the Wellspring. There's first day of class. And do they loot? They learn. I think they discarded Peat Bog. Another first day of class. Discarding Galvanic Relay. And they have the Chatterstorm. Yeah. Okay. That deck is too good. <laughs> Won't even let me concede while they're comboing. Like, no, you have to watch you have to watch it me make all these squirrels. Okay. What are you gonna do, right? <laughs> You're in round three. Alright, we're getting sacrificed. We've played against them a couple times. We're gonna mull in this one island hand. And this looks a lot better. Let's keep. Get rid of this fling and just do our thing. What are we up against? Seems like a few more people are playing Chatterstorm in the league, so. Does Sacrifice play Black White Control? I guess we're about to find out. They duress us. Okay, another 4 4, not bad. Again, we're not really doing anything yet. They said Geo, and there's a Basilica, yep. There's a Thoughtcast, okay. Just gonna play Bridge, and then maybe we'll just tap out for Thoughtcast next turn, draw some cards. Draw isn't great, but we can try to get up to these four fours here. Castigate, okay. I wouldn't be too surprised if they just take Thoughtcast. Then I might have to just cycle Companion for an Artifact Land, which would be fine. Oh, they just take a 4-4. They take the uh, one that can cycle. Okay, 
Well, I'd, I'd rather them take that than take ThoughtCast, honestly. Another ThoughtCast. That's actually pretty good. Sucks to draw basics, but that's kind of where we're at, right? Cleansing Wildfire would have been nice. Guardian of the Guild Pack. No, Pristine Talisman. Okay. Into Duress and Gaining One Life. So they take this. We can't do anything now. Oh my god, drawing another basic. This is why um, these basics are bad. And we have two artifacts in play now. I wonder if we need four basics. Maybe that's just too many. There's a guardian, okay. I don't even really want to cycle this. I want to just play out my four horrors. So I'm just going to slowly play these out. Pretty unfortunate to draw three basics there. That's pretty brutal. Just play a 4-4 pass. It's actually good against Guardian, but I'm sure they have a lot of removal. I only have two cards left in hand, though. Had no draw engine yet. Okay. They attack for two. You got it. Thought cast. Alright, let's lead on Thought cast. They just gain one. There's Cleansing Wildfire. I think I just wildfire them. One, two, three, four, five, six. They do need a lot of mana and they can flashback edict. Or is us getting one more, our last basic out worthwhile? It's close. I think wildfiring them is more annoying. And then if they do have any more balance lands, I can keep killing those. I guess this only takes them down one mana. Maybe it's not worth it. They just get a swamp here. Uh, they even get planes. Okay, well. That may have actually been wrong. I also thin their deck. Maybe we should have just wild by ourselves. Give us one more mana. Yeah, might have overvalued that a little bit. For some reason I was thinking I'd kill it, but... Second Guardian. Okay. They have one card left and they have an edict in the yard. All right, let's go seat. So four, five, six, seven. And then I could have just cracked this, I guess, while casting this, but I didn't. Just that blue. Maybe I should have added red there. Don't think it matters too much. Wellspring. Okay. Now I'll just pass the turn. They're probably just flashback and edict. Maybe play like a cast down or something if they have it. They're up to 30. They have double guardian. This feels like a flashback chainer's edict. Definitely is. We have to tap out though. So we definitely bring in Reaping the Graves here. Maybe both Ancient Grudges for these type of things. And that's probably it. I don't know if we want this spell. Doesn't seem very good, especially against like the Mono Duress Castigate deck. All right, let's just untap. Cleansing Wildfire. All right, let's start by drawing a card. It's another land. It's, we only have one basic left in the deck, but let's get it. Draw Prism. Okay. Keep going here. I can't really attack because I just only trade for one Guardian. Just pass. Rather make them draw a removal spell and use it. Now we're just looking for a Tog plus Fling at this point. Witching Well is obviously a good draw. Well, what are they doing? They have some way to like pump? Echoing Decay that? Okay, that makes sense. Okay. 
down to 14, they're at 33. So even a Tog plus Fling wouldn't be enough at this point. Yep, these Gal Blasts are looking pretty bad. We need like even more card advantage here. They just gain life so they can have six. We go to 10. Prism. Sure, Let's cycle that. The last Calvanic Blast, brutal. Not what we want here. A Tog is a redraw because we have Wellspring. Yeah, again, Witching Well is great. Scry 2, draw 2. And they have Thorn. Okay, well, we're in trouble. Can blast that. We're going down to 6. So if they find Pestilence, we just die for sure. Let's just kill that. There's a companion, not very good. I'm sure they're gonna have removal. They have the Monarch as well here. So I'm gonna have to try to attack and, and trade, but man, they've gained 20 life so far this game. Like a Tog plus Fling is not gonna do it at this point. Although I think that is the game plan we need to have in this matchup. Oh, they have another, they probably just have four Echoing Decay in the deck, but I'm just going to go to two because I want to try to take the Monarch. I mean, I guess then I just guaranteed die, but I think I, I think I die anyway, honestly. If I just go to four and then I'm, I'm still dead to this and I'm sure they have Echoing Decay. Don't think we have outs. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, doesn't matter. I guess they only had one black right now, but we, we, this is this was over. They were at 41. Okay, Reaping. I think I do want the Ancient Grudge. I think Cleansing Wildfire actually seems decent against them. I think Galvanic Blast is not really what I want. Like, you saw they just rotted in our hand. They're not really giving us targets for these, so... Could bring in some number of Dispel as well, but again, against Duress Castigate deck, I don't really like that. I know people say, well, this gives you reach, and yeah, it does, but when they don't have creatures to kill with it, they get much, much worse. Let's run this back. We can just Wildfire ourselves to ramp, and uh, if we want to like Wildfire like a Bounce Land from them, we can. If they play a Bounce Land early, it can be pretty good, so let's try it. See you in game two. All right, game two against black white. Zero lands. Let's ship it. Oh God. I guess we have to keep. We can cycle companion. I can't get to rest. Just put back like a mirror enforcer here, I guess. Could put back an ancient grudge. Don't really want to like show them that, and we don't necessarily need it this early. They mulligan to six as well. Let's see if they keep on six. This hand is just not very good. Gonna have to cycle companion on two here for a red source. Radiant fountain, and they're gonna bounce land on two maybe? All right, now do I witching well or do I sojourner's companion? I think companion is the safer one. Yeah, I think just companion, because I feel like they are gonna bounce land here, and I'm I think I want to wildfire that. Yeah. Just get a great furnace. Okay. And I can just go witching well plus wildfire. Uh, maybe just play Star? No, probably better to play Witching Well earlier. I think this is better than ramping here. Not sure, but gonna do it. Take them down a mana. There's Bridge. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Three artifacts in play. Can go up to five next turn. 
duress, take witching well. It's annoying. Oh, I was supposed to witching well, and I, I cast star. God damn it. I mean, it's actually kind of fine. I would much rather have actually had witching well in place. That was a mistake. Jeez. That's pretty bad. Thought cast. One, two, three, four. I think I just play a Tog. They can Edict it now, but I think that's actually just fine. Let's just play a Tog pass. Just get that down out of range of a Cassiate. They only have two mana, so if they want to kill a Tog, they have to take a lot of their turn to do so. And Echo and Decay is not going to do it because I can just sack Star. Bonder's Ornament. Okay, where's our Ancient Grudge now? Okay, maybe just Cleansing Wildfire yourself. Oh, wow. Divest. Maybe just Cleansing Wildfire yourself in general is better, but I think we did slow them down a fair amount, so tough to say. I feel like they take Serpent here, but I, I guess I don't know. Yeah, they take Serpent. Okay. Reaping the Grave. That's a solid, solid draw. Let's go Witching Well. Oh yeah. Top, pop, and then sack the star. To draw. So I can hit for one more damage. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I kind of want to kill Bonder's Ornament right now, so they have less mana, and they only have like one black and one white source. But then I don't have green mana to flashback Rudge. I think that's actually just fine. Yep, let's do it. Ancient Grudge that, hit for three. Okay, looking solid. Only four artifacts in play here, but so be it. Probably just playing out a 4-4 next turn. They play Swamp. They have four cards in hand. Don't want to see like another Duress, basically. I want to be able to reaping, but it'll be a little while until we can. Circle of Protection Red. Wow. It's pretty aggressive, I would say. Don't have a land that makes black mana, only one that makes green. I guess I should have had one of each duel so I could cast Ancient Grudges or the Reaping. I can crack Witching Well or I just play a 4 4. I think I just want to play a 4 4. Then attack for one in the Circle of Protection, the Atog. I guess this is good. It stops like fling and a tog from killing them. Yep. Gotta rely on this reaping the graves plan now. Just gonna F6. Probably we'll just play companion out next turn. They cast down the enforcer, sure. They pass. Still would rather play this than crack witching well here. I'm gonna attack and just force them to use the cop red. If they get lazy, then I'm gonna hit them for more. Wow. They'd rather take one than I guess they're gonna cast down something. Okay. A chromatic star or prism off the top, please, would be fantastic. Can't necessarily storm a bunch yet either, but. Thorn. Have mana up. Interesting. In trouble. This only prevents damage to them. Good to note. Mirror Enforcer. Four, five. Now I think I want to crack Witching Well and start to get something else going. Because if I draw an untapped artifact land, I can still cast this. Hmm. 
four, five. I can't now. Man, these artifact basics are crushing me. I mean, these, these actual basics are crushing me. All right, let's just have six. They have the Monarch for now. I think this game is going to come down to, can I cast this Reaping the Graves? And if I can, I'm going to be in good shape. If I can't, I'm going to be in bad shape. But I guess waiting on this Mirror Enforcer for another Storm is also good. Okay, there's a Guardian. Sure. They have two cards left. Just the fact that they have the Monarch st still is what's bad. They're attacking for one. Don't want to trade for that with a tie, I don't think. Man, I needed Prism or something there. I think I want to, again, wait on this for Reaping. I could have traded with this and then threatened to get in with Mirror Enforcer, but I think I'm just going to wait here. If they have, if they draw a Duress or Castigate, I get crushed. But I'm trying to draw Prism or, or Star, basically, at this point. Night's Whisper, okay. I feel like this Cleansing Wildfire plan is just not that good. I wonder if I should block. Trade for Thorn. Because this isn't even that good. I think I'm going to. Thorn trades with my 4-4s, four and I'd rather trade with the Tog, so yeah, let's do this. I don't know if I'm F6. Okay, good. Not. Nah. It's just sack a Dark Steel trade. I guess they could play a removal spell on a Tog now, 2 for 1 me, but they don't even want to. Pestilence. Okay. That is a problem. They can just now Wrath all of our 4-4s, so I think we just lose to that. Let's go bottom, top, crack, play Thoughtcast. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Next turn I can do some stuff, but that Pestilence is just gonna kill me pretty quickly. I might be able to like play multiple gear seekers, but now they have castigate. They can just take reaping the graves now. Yep. Pretty brutal. I don't think I really have outs to this. What's up, dude? Dog saying I. <laughs> He's just seeing what's up. Okay, we go to 17. They just had the Monarch for too long. Man, them taking the... Them taking the uh, Reaping the Graves there was just brutal. Just one turn too slow. Let's go... Play Prism. Don't even really want to play Mirror Enforcer into Quad Swamp here. Cleansing Wildfire. Wildfire ourselves. Sure. There's a Tog, which doesn't really do anything. So I have to just hope they don't have Swamp or Removal Spell. It's just so unlikely. If they don't have actual Swamp or Removal Spell, I can take the Monarch for at least a turn. That's all I can do. Looks like we're going down to black white here. Surprise, they might not even have like revokes or um dust to dust here. They, I mean they are base black, so I guess that makes sense. Do they, do they have a win? They can hit us down to eleven. With this. I assume they have swamp, yeah. So now they can just Pestilence for six. And then kill us next turn. Yeah. So 
Yeah, even if we have fling, we can't fling because of the circle of pro red. So even if we draw fling, we still lose. Unfortunate here, but we're going down. Okay, they're just doing this now. Interesting. Looks like we're getting bested. We're at five, they have two mana left, they draw a card. There's star, sure, why not? Might as well go for the fling if we can draw it, right? Maybe they won't cop red it. There's wildfire, sure. These wildfires have just not really done it for us. I mean, I guess they also are good against Tron, but Okay, staying alive, sort of. Drawing a lot of cards. Spinning the wheels here. Do we peter out? Yeah. Drew a lot of cards, but it doesn't quite make any difference. GG's. We just died to died to pestilence. Man. That was rough. The cop ride was good, but mostly we just weren't really able to like assemble a big board presence. Down to one and two, immediately fire off for round four. Let's just jam. Let's just go. Let's finish this 1-2 league out. We're on unknown lists. Unknown lists. Try to play first. Yes. Keep. Okay. I think I also made the mistake of like wildfiring them a little bit too much. I should be wildfiring myself. Like that's the whole point of having it in the deck. I think like, oh, they said amp and cool. They said I'm looking at you on YouTube. <laughs> love to hear from a fan if you are my fan and you play against me um always always let me know I'll always like to hear it i'll say you'll be on youtube saying you'll you'll be on okay now i'm gonna wildfire them if this is affinity I always say I wildfire them too much and then I just continue to wildfire them. Okay, nice. <laughs> they, <laughs> they do the uh, gaping mouth face. I don't know if that's because we wildfired them or because we said they'd be on YouTube. Okay, let's just go to star. The question is, do I crack star to look for land or do I just play out two stars and then not hit a land drop. Um, I will be able to thought cast for one mana next turn. I think I just missed a land drop this turn instead of trying to hit one. It's pretty close though. It does suck to miss a land drop here. Especially when we could have wildfire ourselves, but I, I still think wildfiring them is better in this in this scenario. They said I want to play other formats, but I don't know. I mean, if you can afford modern, I would highly recommend modern. I think it's a great format. They do have frogmite. I want to play some more modern actually myself. Frogmite into is this like an Oriox Sun Chaser? Oh no, it's just a prism. Okay. They're kind of going off here even though we wildfired them. Another thought cast, I like it. Thought cast. I was gonna say, we gotta hit a land. Um, I could Galvanic Blast this to take them down on mana, but I just want to ignore it and Galvanic Blast a 4-4. Four, four. 
One, two, three, four, five. So if I thought cast right now, that will take my overall artifact count down a bit. I feel like it's worth it. Oh no, then I, I draw a card off this too. So then I would have to discard a card because, right, I would draw up to seven, then thought cast up to eight, and I'd have to discard. Okay, let's just pass. Hopefully they just play like a mirror enforcer or something and I'll just galvanic blast it. Okay, there's Bridge. They have four cards in hand. Star. They have two stars on the table as well. This is going to be a grind. Companion. Okay, well, like I said, I wanted them to play a 4-4. There's two. I didn't really want to see two, but we have this as well. Add blue mana, Thought Cast. They're just trying to find Thought Cast, maybe. They have Drum in their deck. Another star. And Thoughtcast? No, they're still looking for it. Okay, they're cycling. Another drum. I just don't think this card is very good. It's just like you peter out when you have this card in your deck. Like you run out of gas is what I'm trying to say by peter out. Okay, let's just draw Galvanic Blast a 4-4. We drew another star. We do need more lands. Thought cast. Haven't hit one yet here. One, two, three, four. Man. I want more artifacts in play and I want another artifact to land. Sucks. I mean, it's not that bad because they have two cards in hand to our eight. So I think we're doing okay, but what I could do is I can cycle companion, get Great Furnace, Galvanic Blast their companion right now. And then next turn just play a couple 4-4s. I think that's just the safest line. It sucks to have to cycle away a 4-4, but I think it's what we want to do. They don't have any Atogs yet. Kind of unfortunate we've just been delayed in doing our stuff, but again, I think we're pretty far ahead considering like we've just drawn like more cards. Or have we even? Yeah, we've drawn a couple more cards. There's a tog. Okay, that's what I did not want to see, but we can kind of we can just win the Atog War here, I think. Like blocking this with a, a tog, they have to sack two things. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So a fling would kill us. Nothing we can really do about that. Let's go Prism. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there's Great Furnace. That's actually a good draw. Now I can just play Triple Mirror Enforcer. Do I play a Tog or do I play Gear Seeker Serpent? I think I play a Tog. Let's go to Star plus a Tog. They have one card left. It could be a Galvanic Blast. Okay, looking good. And they have four, five, six, seven, eight artifacts. We have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven artifacts. A fling still would kill us. Okay, there's a gear seeker that they can activate. So if they attack with a tog, I can actually just block with like all of my mirror enforcers. They don't attack. Okay. I feel like. It's safe enough for me to attack with everything. Oh, I guess I can't because they have Gear Seeker Serpent and I have these Mirror Enforcers. But whatever they, whatever Mirror Enforcer they block with Gear Seeker, I can just sack that to a Tog potentially. Why don't I just sack these stars and draw some cards without spending mana to see what I draw into? Maybe I draw something good. Cleansing Wildfire. Okay. Sack this one too. There's a seat. Okay, let's cleansing wildfire their great furnace. 
takes them down on artifacts. Then they'll sack to a tog. I guess I don't want to do that yet. Let's go prism. I can still cast both of these still. I still have four more mana. Kind of like just attacking with everything. So let's see, if I attack with everything, what's their blocks? Fear Seeker Serpent on Mirror Enforcer, a Tog on Frogmate on a Tog, then they're a Tog on another Mirror Enforcer, sack some artifacts, eat it. I guess I'm just attacking with a Tog. So let's play this and then just attack here. They have to chump it. They can't block with their own a Tog, so they have to just chump. So I am taking them down artifacts here, which is good. Let's go Cleansing Wildfire them. Draw a card and then play a Gear Seeker Serpent. We're trying to find a uh, fling as well here. Wait. Did we just draw a second Wildfire? Oh, oh, they sacked it to a Tog. Oh, I, I misplayed. I just... I just fucked up. I needed to wildfire ourselves. I was like, we didn't draw a card. And yeah, it's because they sacked it to a tog. Idiot. <laughs> Whoops. All right, they still need to top deck, though. We're still pretty far ahead here. They can't really even activate this yet. And I think we should be pretty favored in the mirror because we have wildfires. Whoa. So... Four, five, six, seven. That's 14, 15 damage. What if I just block everything on this? I think that's what I'm going to do. It's good, right? Just going to do it. Just not going to think about it too much. Just get that Atog out of there. Yeah, they just concede to that. Sweet. I misplayed on the on the wildfire, but that's okay. Let's see what we would have drawn. Seat into Wellspring into nothing. Okay. Hydro blasts are good. Reaping the graves, I think, is also good. Ancient grudge. These all come in. I think fling is actually also just fine. They're gonna have. Probably some number of Ancient Grudges, so I like taking out some of the 7 drops. I can go down to 2 Blast. Witching Well, I think is good. It's a little bit slow. I guess I'll trim 1. Just not sure what else to cut in the mirror here. Don't want to cut Cleansing Wildfire, that's for sure. I can cut the Icar Wellsprings. They're, these are, they're just fine. They're just... Reasonable cards. It's probably the next worst card, though. Do I cut one prism? No, because I have Reaping coming in. I think I do want Triple Hydro Blast. Just killing a Tog is so important. Also, I think Pyroblast might be good, too, now. Like I said, there's Witching Well, Thoughtcast, and Gear Seeker Serpent, which this deals with. Yeah, I'm going to try it. Let's go down on a fling. It's a little risky, especially with all the Hydro Blasts. Could just cut both flings against, like, Mono Hydro Blasts. It's a good way to win, but it's also a good card to just get stuck in your hand. I think I will like these Pyro Blasts, actually. Looks good. Only two Galvanic Blast is a little sketchy, but I want all the card advantage I can possibly have. Don't like having this in my opening, but yeah, let's keep. No cleansing wildfires here, but that's okay. Bridge, that was a good draw. We can go turn to prism. Now we have a bunch of artifact lands to play as well, which is just nice. Springleaf drum, no frogmite. There's ancient grudge. Do I just take out drum to keep them down? This is just such a bad card. I'd rather I like, grudge their 4-4s four and their better stuff. So, yeah, I'm just going to let them have this. It's just such a bad card. Not like talking shit about their deck. I just hate this card. It just... Yes, it makes you go a little bit faster in certain situations, but it's just... 
again, you run out of stuff to do when you have Springleaf Drum in your deck. Like, and then when you need gas and you top deck a Springleaf Drum, oh man, does that feel bad. So now they're playing a 4-4, four, four. sure. So I can grudge that now. So why don't I just grudge that, play Thoughtcast? I mean, I also have Galvanic Blast for this. Let's see, one, two, three, four. So let's see, if I play Great Furnace, play Galvanic Blast, and then I can Thought Cast back up to seven cards. I guess I can play Galvanic Blast, play a Tog. I think I just like that. Also, I can play Galvanic Blast, play Grudge. Just start with Blast. They could have Dispel in their deck still, but or have sided some number in if they think that's good, but I'm just going to try to start with this. Yeah, and then I'm just going to play a Tog. Okay. Pass the turn. There's Prism. You got it. One, two, three, four, five. They can't quite cast another Enforcer or Companion yet. Galvanic Blast. Okay, let's let it go. It's a reason to not play a Tog this early, but still traded for that. I think it's reasonable. There's another Prism. I'd like to deploy Gear Seeker this turn. One, two, three, four, five. So I think I just play Prism, play Gear Seeker, wait till next turn for Thought Cast. Let's just start with Prism. Cleansing Wildfire. Can't Cleansing Wildfire them yet. Could take them down on artifacts, but again, I'd rather deploy a Gear Seeker here. Okay. This card is really good in the mirror. Doesn't die to that much, which is also why I like Sidey and Pyroblast. We still have this grudge just waiting, which is nice. There's a land we can kill if we want. I guess if they have a Tog right here that could get rough for us. I am regretting playing this out early. I wish I had just like cast Thought Cast or something. The turn I played a Tog last turn, I could not have played Gear Seeker Serpent. I was one artifact short. Okay, they have nothing? Wow. That's not great for them. Let's lead on Wildfire right here. We draw Star, okay. Let's go Thought Cast. Nice, this looks good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's attack, and then just play Companion. And I think just... I was going to say I can leave up Grudge. I'm just going to Cleansing Wildfire us right now. Yeah, I want to use the ability. Let's just get Island. Draw a card. Rampant Growth draw a card is still really good. Even if it's getting a land that's not an artifact. They 4-4, they four, four. okay, we can deal with that. Hydra Blast, that's actually a really good draw. Just makes me feel a lot safer. I can kill this land too. So let's go add green mana. Might as well. I have these prisms out anyway. Thought cast. We just drew pretty well, honestly, here. We're out of gas now. Ancient Grudge this. Flashback Grudge right now, I think. Just keep them down. Maybe just keep it in the graveyard, actually. Killing this land doesn't really do anything, right? Just gonna, just gonna leave it in the yard. Save uh, that seat in play for if I draw another Cleansing Wildfire. I can just Cleansing Wildfire them if I want. 
And we have double Hydro Blast up, so we're safe against Tog for the most part. Nine power in play, they're at ten. Also counter any Galvanic Blasts on my companion, I think. It's a little bit greedy, but I still think it's worth. It's Prism, sure. This is match four, yeah. Okay. One more to go after this. They said, well, looks like they drew kind of poorly. They say, well, and then they just go off and kill us or something. Today, my deck not working well, yeah. GG's. That'll happen. Happens to me all the time. Also, I mean, I think we are uh, that I think we are favored a little bit in the mirror, just considering that we have four cleansing wildfire. So any artifact basics they play, any of these seed of the cyanide great furnace lands, we just get to kill that draw card, um, which is just pretty nice in the mirror. All right, advance fight back to two and two. Let's see if we can go positive in three two this league. See you in round five. All right, round five we're against. Merlo BDS and um, I just played against actually finished up the last popper league I was playing was uh, blue light evoke and I didn't get to finish the recording because I had to leave and I finished it up off stream and uh, played against this opponent in the last round and they were on affinity I'm pretty sure um, and we were able to take them out on blue light evoke let's keep that was couple hours ago or it was an hour or two ago it was before this league we're on the draw here our hand's not incredible but it's too many lands yeah they're on affinity still okay can we draw a cleansing wildfire that'd be nice just anything to do next turn i guess nope Wish not granted. Just play an indestructible land here. Straw not really coming together, but at least we drew another threat. Another land is obviously not good, but is what it is. Duress us, take our thought cast. Yeah, they did have, I remember they did have a couple Duress main, and they were Grixis Affinity. Mirror Enforcer, okay. We draw Basic. Uh, that's disgustingly bad. Okay, can't cast anything. Next turn I can cast a 3-mana 4-4, four, four, and then the turn after that, maybe a Gear Seeker, but we're in trouble. Just drew a few too many lands here. They play another 4-4. Four, four. I guess I can play this next turn, actually, by tapping 4-mana. They play a Gear Seeker. Okay, we're in trouble. Maybe just Mono Gear Seeker is the way to go. Companion. All right, that's four artifacts. So this does cost three mana, so does this. Yep, I have to just do this. That way I can stop their four fours from attacking. I guess this kind of stops their whole team. They could attack with everything. I eat one thing, they hit for nine. But that's a little bit greedy because and then I just play some 4-4s four out and kind of they throw away a 4-4 four four for 9 damage. I mean, yeah, they're throwing away a 4-4, four four, but it is for 9 damage, putting us to pretty precarious life total of 7. Okay, they could also just Galvanic Blast this, I suppose, then we're really in trouble. If we had a Galvanic Blast here, they would just get completely blown out another 4-4 four, four. okay they have one card in hand and a witching well on the table and they had the galvanic blast and they choose to just blast our our serpent which makes sense let's go to star furnace mirror enforcer into companion into crack star just add blue draw Another Mirror Enforcer. Okay. Classic Affinity Mirror here. 
both players just play stuff out and then see who has more stuff. Whoever thought casted more times usually is the one who wins. And they've thought cast once and we've thought cast zero times considering they duressed us. So <laughs> that's something. It'll be interesting to see if they choose to keep duress post board. Yeah, we just I'm gonna sideboard the I think the exact same way. Hydroblasts, um, Reaping the Graves, Ancient Grudge, and Pyroblast. Go down to like two Galblast. Alright. Put in deep in the tank here. I mean, they can just crack Witching Well right now. Like, looking for Galvanic Blast is decent. Maybe look for more 4 4s. We're definitely behind. If they attack with everything, I don't even know what our blocks are. I guess double block Serpent, block one of the 4 4s, and just hope they don't have it because. Like, what else can I really do at this point? I mean, I could not have six, but I think I'd rather just uh, play really fast here and just get this league over with. I think I just need to go for this. Again, Galvanic Blast wrecks me, but can I beat a Galvanic Blast anyway? I'm not sure. Second Gear Seeker, that's kind of disgusting. So I can chump, bling here, and then maybe it's not over yet. Again, they have they have a uh, witching well, so if they have any untapped land, we die because then they just activate. Thought cast, geez, that's a top deck. Tap land. I don't know how we win now though, because this can be unblockable now, and I don't think I have outs to like dealing with it. Okay. Again, at least we have cleansing wildfires. They're gonna crack right now. Try to find a set, uh, uh, enforcer. Wow, their draw was just a little bit better than ours here. Again, I don't think we have any outs, but might as well just draw a card. Just gonna concede. Okay. Let's go. Get everything we want to bring in. You can see when both players are just playing a bunch of 4-4s, four Reaping the Graves is great. Let's just do this. Let's get these flings out of here. I think this is the plan. Let's go. I like this. I like this sideboard plan. Going down on the Mirror Enforcers might just be bad, but... Oh, man. We have to mulligan. One land away from this hand being good, but... Oh, God. I have to actually draw a land for this hand to work. They mulligan to six. I wonder if I should go to five. I think I should just keep in and just hope to draw lands. I'm just gonna put back a tog, I think. I have an ancient grudge. I have star. I have like a lot of stuff going for me with this hand. I just need to hit land so I can like thought cast and then get out of this. But definitely a sketchy hand here. They bridge. There's wildfire. I think I just try to hit a land. If I draw a dark steel citadel, we did hit a land, so that's something, but still can't do anything yet. Okay. At least we hit the land there. That would have been pretty brutal to miss. I think the fiance's home, and we have a wildfire, so we can do something this turn. 
it's obviously nice to wildfire them, but I'm going to choose to wildfire ourselves rather than just leave up grudge or do nothing. Wildfire us. Guess I'm going to get mountain at this point. They're probably confused about how we have this in the deck, but we do. And I'm thinking we can go down to three basics pretty easily here. Let's get mountain, draw mirror enforcer. Okay. One second. All right. Back after saying hello to the fiance and what's up? What do they got? We were able to wildfire ourselves there, and they do play a land that does die to wildfire, but does it matter? That is yet to be determined. I think I am going to kill that. We cannot Galvanic Blast yet. Let's just go wildfire this. Draw a card. Key. Hopefully draw an artifact land here. And I can grudge this as well. Or just even just Galvanic Blast it. No. Okay, pass. We have Hydro Blast up. They have a bridge, and they attack for four. And we can't Galvanic Blast because we only have two artifacts right now. Classic theme of this league. Oh man. This is not good. I guess I'm just going Grudge this. I can just tap all our lands for Thoughtcast. If we miss on lands, it's really bad, but I don't know, I can't even, I can't even Thoughtcast because I have a basic. All right, let's just Grudge. Hopefully they try to play a Tog or something. We're missing on lands and we have more lands than a usual affinity deck because we have 20 lands in the deck. So I feel like we're getting a little bit unlucky with that aspect, but okay, duress is fine. I guess they can take thought cast. They might, I'm not sure what they're gonna take. They take one of the hydros, okay. And then they play in a tog. Okay, sure. I'm just going to Hydro it to be mana efficient, because I can also Galvanic Blast it, they'd have to sack two things to save it. Yep, they have the Pyro. Makes sense. Okay, nice. So now let's just go Bridge, Galvanic Blast this. They have to sack two things to save it. Then they're low on resources if they do that. And then I can just play a Tog. We even have an Ancient Grudge we can flash back at some point. They only have two cards left. I think we're... Wow, they're going to save it. I don't know if that's good for them. I'm fine with that trade. And then just play a Tog. Pass the turn. Not really scared of dying. They cycle Companion for Artifact Land. Do I straight up die to Teamer Battle Rage? No, they get tap land. Okay. I think I'm going to have to just let that go. I can't obviously sack two things. Okay, there's a Thought Cast. I have to just play Thought Cast, unfortunately. Oh, wait, I have three. Oh, I only have to pay two mana. Okay, okay. Math is all over the place here. There's a Pyro. I think I just play another Thought Cast. Ancient Grudge and a Tog. No lands. Pretty pretty unfortunate here. Jeez. So we die to a fair amount of stuff. There's Ancient Grudge. Okay. They just hit for one. Got to find a land at some point, right? I know I can't even. Oh yeah, I can't cast this. I have two artifacts. Brutal. Super brutal here. Could have gone for a wildfire. Wait, no, I just drew into that. I just drew into that. Okay, let's discard Mirror Enforcer. 
Sure. So this is eight, nine damage. They don't have anything else yet. I can wildfire us draw a card. I can prism draw. I think wildfire is the best choice. They hydro blast it. Let's just counter it just to be mana efficient here. I want to draw a card and get another mana into play. Sojourner's Companion. Okay, that can maybe get us out of this screw at some point. And then they just kill us. Okay, well, that game that game sucked. Rough League here. Rough League. Kept a sketchy hand, I guess, as well. Probably should have just mulliganed again. Let's just wrap it up. Brutal. 2-3 with the League. I think ultimately these were not good. It's just better without them and just having all your lands be artifact lands. It's just they're not even that good against Storm. And I think they are good in the mirror, but I don't know if that's like... It's probably worse in the mirror than just having like more gear seekers or something or like, you know dispels in the main against storm so it's just not not good enough i think but it was a fun experiment channel is youtube.com slash snapbolt thanks so much for watching my name is max and come hang out on sunday september 5th um for the first stream and i'll see everyone there peace till next time